for me, what I've learned is that um, about the 275 um, appointed positions, um, I think we should know about that from a budgetary standpoint, which is probably there, but things get past us, let's be honest, um, and look at these positions and see who in those positions have um, either participated or engaged in some form of um, um, discrimination. And, and, and those people have to be looked at it and it has to be addressed. And if it's in our policies that there's a zero tolerance, then those people should be dismissed. Do you think from what you heard today that Randy Conner has changed the culture as he claims? I think, he didn't say, I, don't, I, don't, I never heard Randy in all my conversations with him told, say that he's changed the culture. He's never told me that. I haven't yet to read that anywhere. And I think what Randy is looking at and he's moving and putting things in place to change this culture, which has been in existence for years, even before this current administration. And me personally, I have the utmost confidence that Randy will um, do the job very well. But in his defense, I asked many of these people to sit down with Randy before a hearing. They out of fear was afraid to. So in other words, Randy haven't heard a lot of this. So you have to give him a chance to hear some of the things besides the things that was put in the media, which he's, I know he's starting to address. But some of this stuff he hasn't heard yet because people were afraid to go to him. Now he's has heard it through this hearing and would get this information and I have the utmost confidence that he's gonna move on. Pat? Well, one of the things that we heard that uh, I asked one of the employees was had they participated in any of the EEOC trainings that the commissioner O'Connor has put in place and she said yes so I think that Randy is trying to um, affect the bureaucracy and he has to get down into the bowels of the department and he's doing that that takes time but I'm confident that he's starting that turning that ship around I think uh, we can look at the overtime that was what impressed me the most the fact that uh, you have decisions made on particular jobs and how that relates to overtime. And right? discipline. And discipline, and I think we need to look, to look further into those things. And did anything here surprise you? I was surprised to hear uh, the statement about the 200 and, I forgot the number the guy raised, 34. 243. Um, appointed positions, appointed positions I, I within the department. But maybe that's, we got to verify that number. We need to look into that. And how many of them are black and how I, many I are white? No we idea. don't know. That's but, what we have to find Okay. Out. And do you think that uh, that blacks are still being mistreated, that women are still being mistreated? We heard that from the current employees today, the ones that testified. What should happen now? What should happen is like we just said, look at this, get, get with um, our commissioner and begin to put some, um, some procedures in place to correct it. And I think, I think we have a commissioner that's going to listen to us and that's going to take um, what we've heard here today and um, um, make some uh, recommendations and make some moves accordingly.